Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I want to talk about using DaVinci Resolve instead of using Adobe Premiere. I've used Adobe Premiere for years for uh, a lot of my editing, as well as an iOS app called Video Leap. Both of those are great programs. Um, Video Leap on iOS allows you to do green screening and you can keyframe different things as well as a lot of effects. You can do animated GIFs and different things really easily. Great program. If you're editing on your phone, it's a great way to do it. Currently, I'm using OBS Studio and I'm using um, OBS Camera uh, with my iPhone 12 Pro, which is doing this green screen. I have a green screen behind me and I am actually sitting in my bed, which is wonderful and comfortable. And I really like this setup. Um, ideal for me. Now, DaVinci Resolve is completely free for the completely free version, which means you don't get all of the features, but you get a lot. You actually get quite a bit. So I'm going to show you really quickly um, what this looks like right after I explain to you how to use it on a Surface Pro device. I'm using the Surface Pro 7 Plus, and it's a powerhouse. I love this machine. This will work on a, a number of different tablets and two-in-ones. What you want to keep in mind is that it will not look like my machine on your machine. So this UI is actually really nice looking. It doesn't fit perfectly. There's little things like you need to resize uh, a couple of different things. You can drag up and down to resize certain parts. I... I'm fine with this. If you open up something like here, I want to do save as what's going to happen is it's going to drop this in the bottom right corner. Now, what needs to be said immediately is that when you install DaVinci Resolve on a tablet, when you install DaVinci Resolve, the scaling is completely screwed up. Um, I, I might be able to show a picture and I'll see if I can add one in right here. Ta -da! Okay, so you can see what that looks like. It's unusable. So what you need to do is this little hack. And it's not hard, um, but you definitely need to pay attention to what's going on here. So I'm going to bring you to a website that I found. This is um, blog.himbeer.me. Um, the URL here I'll put in the description. But right here, what you need to do, and I'll put this in the description as well, Replace the target with the following, powershell.exe, yada, 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 resolve.exe. And it's got some different quotes that you need to put around it. So what that means is this PowerShell information is going to tell DaVinci Resolve to open with a DPI scaling factor of 2x. A lot of words here. What that means is... What you're going to do is you're going to go to DaVinci Resolve inside of Black Magic Design. You're going to right click on Resolve and you're going to create a shortcut. Open that shortcut. We're going to go to Properties and inside here where it says Target, you're going to insert that entire phrase, C, Windows System, PowerShell, and uh, there's a lot here in the middle. It's got some information here, screen scaling factor equals one, just copy what I have in the description, paste it in there, click OK. Now what you're going to do is you're going to right click here and we're going to pin this. So I have unpinned from start and unpinned from taskbar as my options because I have these already pinned to both. What this means is every time that I click on my taskbar icon for resolve, it's going to run this PowerShell command and open up the correctly scaled version of DaVinci Resolve, which again is free. And this fully replaces Adobe Premiere for me, and I prefer this. Let me show you quickly what this looks like. I have on my left, I have the Tablet Pro Artist Pad, and I have this one set up specifically for DaVinci Resolve. So if I want to furl this shape on the screen, if you don't, then it will select I'm doing the tutorials for Rebel 4, by the way, which I'm really excited about. It's a super cool program. Okay, so let's say I want to cut this. I'm going to go cut, cut, tap, and delete. And I just did a ripple delete. Which means add to tilt your pen, the shape will rotate with it. 
Um, I can move forwards and back, different frames, I can play in slow motion. Uh, there's a lot that I can do with the artist pad here, and I'll make a separate video if there's comments uh, wanting to know how to do this. Basically, I have a really awesome free video editing program uh, that works with a stylus, which it doesn't really matter. You could use your finger just as well. And these touch controls on the side, and it, it fully replaces Adobe Premiere for me. Quick demonstration of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, here, this is um, where I can add different effects. And there's a lot of free effects, not just little ones here. I can scroll down. You can see a little bit. These are transitions and different ones. Um, uh, there's titles, so you can add your, let's see right here in the very beginning, I have a title. And the animated text. So what, what DaVinci Resolve says it does is it combines a number of different things like Premiere and After Effects, and you have color correction, you have uh, you know, the ability to adjust all sorts of different things that would be in a lot of different a lot of different programs. Here's audio tools, and then the renderer built in. So this is like media encoder, uh, but After Effects, special effects, uh, all the trimming, compiling, and all of that, all wrapped into one. And the full version, I think, is about 300 bucks, which to me seems reasonable. Uh, there, are, These are all separate topics, so we'll, we'll talk about them if there's more interest in this. The main point here is I really like DaVinci Resolve. It needs to be rescaled to work. All right, that's it for this video. If you found this useful, if you have a stylus and a Windows 10 tablet or device, then this channel is for you. So please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.